SpaceX has launched approximately 4,000 pieces of first and 1.5 generation Starlink satellites into orbit. Nowadays, the time has come to launch the second generation. On February 27th at 2313 Universal Time, the Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Launch Complex 40 at Florida. The timing was perfect, as the sun had just set, providing an impressive coloring of the surrounding landscape and the rocket itself. Vehicles to take down range. Stage one, chamber pressure is The first stage of the rocket flew on its third mission and attempted to land on the A shortfall of Gravitas Autonomous Drone Ship. Its successful landing marked the 100th consecutive landing without any accidents, a remarkable feat. The second stage transported 21 Starlink satellites into orbit, and the number of them is already a clear indication of something different compared to the typical 50 or more satellites carried by Falcons. The second generation satellites were initially designed to be carried by the Starship as they are too large for the Falcon 9. However, due to Starship's delay, SpaceX prepared a scaled down variant, the Starlink 2.0 mini satellites. These second-generation satellites differ from previous versions in several ways, with their weight increasing from 300 to 800 kilograms and having four times the transmission capacity. Additionally, SpaceX used a new propulsion system that was developed in-house. It is an ion engine that uses the gaseous argon as the propellant. These engines have a 2.4-fold higher thrust and a 1.5-fold higher specific impulse compared to the older versions. The specific impulse value represents how effectively the engine works with the propellant. Lastly, there is one more small innovation. During the launch of previous generation Starlink satellites, the camera was positioned on the upper stage. This time, it was attached to the pole holding the satellites in place and located at the tip of the fairing. While the pole was discarded and remained in orbit in previous versions, this version is connected to the second stage and can be deorbited together with it, resulting in no extra debris remaining in orbit. Furthermore, these amazing shots of the deployment of 21 Starlink 2.0 mini satellites were captured due to this camera placement. This does not mean that all new Starlink satellites will be of the second generation from now on. SpaceX will continue to launch 1.5 generation satellites. The new series will be exclusively aimed at the sixth orbital shell at an altitude of 530 kilometers, inclined at 43 degrees to the equator. Thank you for watching to today's episode. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. We appreciate you being with us.